Hello, my name is Keshwani. That's K-E-S-H-W-A-N-I, Keshwani. I have been solving math problems for GRE out of this book here. Practicing to take the GRE general test, 10th edition. If you do not own this book already, purchase one immediately. The problem that I'm about to solve is the one that you're going to find on page number 265, the very last problem, problem number 10. These are called quantitative comparison questions. We are to compare the two quantities that are given to us in the two, co in, in the two columns. Let's take a look at it. In this particular problem, number 10, we have a picture here, so I'm going to reproduce the picture. This marker is not very, very dark, is it? I don't like it. I don't like it a bit. Let's see if I can find something darker. There we go. Let's try this one out. And they want you to compare this quantity x plus y versus p plus q. Only about half the people who took this exam when it was given, when this exam was given, only about half the people, 48% of the people got this question right. The question is what happened to the other half? Well my guess and my gut feeling is that the other half of the people who got it wrong, the vast majority of those people are getting it wrong because they are sitting there and asking themselves, how the hell am I supposed to figure out these two angles? And if you sit there and ask yourself that question, how do I figure out these two angles? You're missing the bloody point. As I have said many times before, these questions are called quantitative comparison. These are not called computation. Nobody is asking you to compute anything. You are you're being asked to compare the two, uh, two things. So let's make up this angle here. Let's call it angle Z. Or let's call it something entirely different. Let's call it angle A. Oh, I, sh I shouldn't have done it so fast here. If this is angle A, if I'm going to call this angle A, then that would also have to be angle A, because this angle has to equal to this angle, and this angle has to equal that angle, when the two lines intersect. They actually have uh, terminology for it in the, in the geometry. These are referred to as vertical angles. I just call them opposite angles. So if I'm going to call this A, then that also has to be A. Well, then what, what do we know? Then I know that x plus y, x plus y plus a has to equal 180. And what do we know about p plus q plus a? p plus q plus a also has to be 180. Because they are sum of the, sum of the three angles in a triangle. And we know that sum, sum, sum of three angles in a triangle, in any triangle, is 180. Therefore, this angle P plus Q plus A has to equal 180. This is too crowded. Let me let me let me do it on the second line. So here's my x plus y plus A, and that I know is 180. And I also know that P plus Q plus A, P plus Q plus A is also 180. Which means these three, these three angles are same. Uh, these three angles add up to the same quantity as these three angles. Since let's, let's get rid of the 180 now. So that tells me that these two quantities, these two quantities are equal to each other. Since A appears on both sides, it plays no role. Hence, these two quantities are equal to each other. And if you think about it, these two these two angles x plus y would have to equal to p, p and q. Because these two are angle, yeah, these two angles are equal. And if the sum of this one and this one and that one equals the sum of this one and that one and this one and these two are angle they are equal, then the sum of these two has to equal the sum of those two. What these angles are individually is of no interest to us. There, nobody is asking us what x is, nobody is asking us what y is, nobody is asking us what p and q individually are. We just have to look at their sum. There, the sum of these two has to equal sum of these two because these two angles are equal to each other and the sum has to be 180 of these three angles and those three angles. That's all. The answer is C.
¿Te ibas a subir? Sí. Ok. Un golpe de agua en moto. That's right. I hope you found this helpful. If you wish to get hold of me for personal private tutoring, face-to-face -face tutoring or online tutoring or if you wish to buy the solution manuals to any of the questions, uh, please go to my website at www.prepprepprepprepprepprepprepprepprepprepprepprepprepprepprepprepprepprepprepprepprepprepprepprepprepprepprepprepprepprepprepprepprepprepprepprepprepprepprepprepprepprepprepprepprepprepprepprepprepp